Hey guys, so uh, World of Warcraft just released a new cinematic for the uh, 10.1 patch, the first patch of the Dragonflight expansion, 10.1, uh, and um, it's called The Secrets of the Reach, in-game cinematic Dragonflight, and uh, I haven't watched it yet, so I thought I would check it out. Um, there's a bunch of news too, this will just be the reaction though, and um, I'll make another video about some of the 10.1 stuff. I know all my videos recently have been... Um, than Diablo stuff. I'm super excited for Diablo 4, but it's nice that both Diablo and Warcraft, both the, the Blizzard games I play are doing, have a lot of stuff going on. But anyways, let's, uh, let's check it out. Secrets of the Reach. That bigger. Volume. All right, here we go. is ours once again. Who's this guy again? He's like the evil dragon. Take cover. Okay. And they, there they are. Who are they, Sokareth? Is it the Aspects? No. Razageth's kin. Three primal slots, or the three primal and cardinal slots. They have visage forms. The last echoes of her storm are Interesting. fading. She is I mean, they were cool. Gone. I just didn't we expect should it. should be devouring her murderer's hearts. Do not underestimate them, Farrakh. Our sister's overconfidence was her downfall. Wow. I mean, that's really cool. They were cool. The aspect's that power out. has waned. Their forces grow stronger, and we must even the The rock guy's the coolest one. Forget his name. Starts with an eye. The earth one. They, they all look pretty cool. So many secrets from us, and even from each other. They're back in the Forbidden Reach, okay. The elements are protecting it for some reason. Oh, he's dead. And, uh. Oh, this is cool. They're actually, like, showing the bad guys doing something. Kind of. He's the leader, I'm pretty sure. He's the brains and the. It is here. Looks really cool, though. Nelfarian's What's here? betrayal shattered their unity. Left fissures in their hearts. Another secret we need to figure out. Yet the pain he inflicted was only the beginning. Azurus, his hidden laboratory. One last secret, deep within the earth. That's where we're going next. The location of Avarus must lie within this vessel. I will decipher its knowledge. <laughs> What use are Navarian's twisted experiments to us? The laboratory itself is of no consequence. But the molten fire that powers it, hmm. that we can use. Keep eyes on them, Desrin. Whatever remains of Navarian's legacy belongs to us. Interesting. Interesting. Very cool. I that was I was definitely shocked with the uh I'm just gonna kind of backtrack here. I'm gonna try to put this on. Kind of would have been easier with the uh the uh text down here. So this guy, I know he's like the defective, he like defected from the evokers or the uh Drakthir in the Drakthir starting zone. 
I can't remember his name, but I know he's kind of like the it's like the Sundered Flame, I believe is what they are. I know that's what the group's called. I can't remember his name. So if you remember in the chat, I guess let me know. It doesn't say his name, but um he defected, so I guess he's trying to find the Therians Lair too. Like these guys, like the the uh, primal carnets are. Um but let's see. Actually. Let me uh just put some music on while we're doing this. Go back. Oops. All right. So. Nazaran, who? Oh, uh, Sarah Graf. Yeah, I'm butchering that. Sarah Graf. That's him. That's the guy. Or Sarah Graf. I can't. Sarah. Sarah Graf. Uh. Some of the Warcraft names, man, like, there's so many and they're all very, um, they're looking for him, that's cool. It's interesting his eyes are purple, like, is he void? Is he already corrupted by the void? I don't know. Uh, anyways. What surprised me was, um, was it storm? Was, um, that they have humanoid forms. So I guess, you know, they're not actually humans. They're not, you know, blood elves or night elves like the, uh, aspects but i you know it seemed like the primalists this whole time were kind of against humanoid or humans humanoids all that stuff so i kind of find it interesting that they have a humanish form they were so against like the human race and everything so why would they create a form like them but you know i guess that like, they're big dragons it's kind of convenient to have a form where you can pick stuff up with your hands and you know turn things up you know flip i don't know it's nice to have opposable thumbs, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I guess that makes sense. I mean, they look, the designs are really cool. Um, I definitely, if I had to rank it, the, I think the Earth guy is the coolest, then the fire, then the ice. Um, she just kind of looks the most generic. Like, we've seen a lot of, like, her face kind of, you can tell her face is kind of, um, it reminds me of, like, Rain Eyes slash even the, what's her name? The Shadowlands. Winter Queen. Winter Queen, but also like Drain. It just looks the most generic, I guess. I mean, this Dragon Wing is kind of cool. I think these two definitely look more interesting. Um, up here's a zoom in. Yeah. Uh, our armor's okay. I think he's cool. Uh, I forget their names. But I like that his face is basically like, uh, what is it? Like charcoal or not charcoal, um, molten rock. So I guess obsidian stone. It's almost like obsidian or like dried up lava. Very cool. That's a cool picture. Uh, I like him. He's interesting. He's definitely like the dumb. It seems like from the cinematic, he's kind of like the reckless, dumb one of the group. He's the he's the brains and the strongest, and he's like the leader. Seems like. Or Firak. That's this guy. Okay. Um. Yeah, he looks cool. I like him. He they definitely. I think he looks cooler than uh, Deathwing. Like Deathwing's visage form. But I mean, these these guys are like elementals. They're not the same visages. But I will say, I actually think. Uh, now that I'm looking at them more, I wish our evokers kind of looked like this, man. Like, I definitely am bummed. I, I like the evoker race and class, like the new class, this expansion. But I do think it would have been much cooler if they um, had cooler visages, like unique visage forms. Because, like, it sucks that our armors don't show on the evoke, the dragon form. So at least give us some, like, unique humanoid form. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Anyways, very cool. I want it almost looks like a tail to his little cape thing here. I just like they I think their designs really cool. And what's interesting about these bad guys are um there was no there was also no setup to these, right? Like the jailer, you know, there was kind of like a hint or a setup for the jailer and BFA. These guys came out of nowhere. Like we just Shadowlands ended and then we went to the Dragon Alice, these are the new bad guys. And they're already more compelling than the jailer. And they just literally showed up randomly. Like we weren't hinted about evil dragons you know um i hope i almost hope we don't kill them off i mean it's probably gonna kill them by the end of the expansion but maybe one of them lives and gets away i don't know maybe that the cool one keeps hanging out anyways um what else kind of happened oh i did think this was cool where they kind of showed off their powers you really almost never see the bad guys do anything like we just they just they kind of, like, for example, the Geo, right? He just monologued, and then we killed him. 
I mean, I know this isn't like a big feat. It's not like these guys are killing main characters or healers. They're just killing some elementals. But hey, you know, it's still cool to see them, you know, actually use their powers um, for stuff. You know, to blow stuff up like that guy. Um, melting this dude. Or uh, freezing this guy. Funny way to freeze him. But, um, yeah. Let's see what else. I really... I do... I, I am a little worried about what this cinematic was at the end. It's like, we're going to this place to do that thing. Well, I guess he was pretty brunt. I, you know what? I say that, but now I'm backtracking a little bit. And we're going to Aberus. I guess that's the location we're going to. Um, one, one last secret deep within the earth. Um, fly within the vessel. So I know it sounds like they want the power from the place. They don't, nothing specific. They don't want any of um, Deathwing's experiments from, I guess, his hidden citadel or location. Um, but you, sir, no, it's just us. So that's, yeah. So, I mean, I guess they were pretty up forward with what they just want the power source there. So, you know, we kind of do, but... Why do they want the power source? You know, but hopefully we'll figure that out. Because I do hope this expansion is more about getting answers than more questions. But uh, anyways, I thought that was a pretty cool um, cinematic. Yeah, um, I'm excited for 10.1. I know I've been talking a lot about Diablo 4. I, it's interesting. I almost think 10.1 and Diablo 4 are going to come out around the same time. And that definitely sucks. I mean, it's a good thing to have, right? You're going to have, at least for me, two fun Blizzard games to play. But, um, yeah, this was very cool. Um, definitely, like, the, of course, the art and everything. And this, the cinematic itself, they're definitely, Blizzard's getting much better at doing cinematics, for sure. Um, but, yeah, this was really cool. Let me know. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my little quick reaction here. I'm no super lore buff, but, you know, I love the story of World of Warcraft. I'm, I've been on and off with Warcraft, and I still, even when I wasn't playing the game, I would still watch their cinematics to kind of keep up with the story. The very bare minimum story of just the cinematic story. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm definitely excited for 10.1. Um, and even I know 10.7 is coming out soon. And as in my one of my more popular videos, I really hope we're getting that Torn totem weapon. But anyways, this is a cool cinematic. So I um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed, put a like. Um, leave a comment and your thoughts. Any of my thoughts about the video resonated with you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.